Hey guys, good morning. It is uh, March 12th. It's really early in the morning. It's about, um, you know, about 5 o'clock in the morning, 5 a.m. where I am. Um, I just wanted to make a video. Um, this truck... This, yeah, my, my music's coming on. Um, this truck right here, um, I, I went to go check my account at the bank, which is like down that street. This truck uh, cut in front of me at like at the bank and went into the ATM and it's like you know five in the morning so it's kind of weird and then and then he went the wrong way out like he went to the left which there's no outlet um and kind of kind of turned around and it's a uh, you know he has a black hat on and a black shirt um and then I, I came here and here he is you know here is this guy so this is a stalker this is a gang stalker right here. I mean, he was ready at like 5.30 when I came out. The guy, that other truck, I saw him go in there. He has an army shirt on, and he was like looking at me all suspiciously. I don't want to go ahead and get this license plate of this guy. He's definitely a stalker. Like, uh, just get his license plate on tape. We can see it. Just for a second. Um... But yeah, that I mean, he's a definite stalker. He he like cut in front of me to go to the ATM, and I didn't see him even use it. Like he didn't like I didn't see him like using the ATM. He sat there, he sat there, and then the exits to the right, and he went left. He went left and did all this like turning around, and then kind of sat there for a little while, and then went out. And then I was like, okay, well that's weird. And um, I was like, that's kind of weird, whatever. Um, but then I went to Walgreens, and there he was. He was sitting at Walgreens. So I parked right next to him, and he was getting out, like, you know, throwing some cans away in his car and going inside the store. Um, you know, just, he looks like, he looked like a saw. He had, like, a black cap on, and, you know, was, like, kind of tucking his head down, like, uh, when I looked over. Um, so he looks real shifty and shady, just like a stalker does. You know how these people like look, they're shifty and shady. You know, they're snake dogs, like snake dogs slithering around, kind of hiding their faces because they're, they're just, I guess, semi ashamed of what they're doing because you'd have to if, if you didn't know what was going on and you were a, a regular human being that doesn't murder people. Like, you have to be kind of just subconsciously ashamed of, of who you are um, and what you're doing with your life, you know? Um, you can tell I'm being, I'm being kind of sarcastic this morning. Um, did I, I uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of I'm hurting a lot. They hit me in the head and the neck while I was sleeping. And I didn't listen to Dave CD or have, uh, and I wasn't, I wasn't, um, well... I didn't listen to Dave's CD. Things are things are not that bad, but um, I did watch a video um, this morning. Like I got up and I kind of just check it out. I check out YouTube every morning if there's any alerts by target individuals. And, and Brian too is back in the hospital. Um, here's a one light car coming up. Let me turn it off. That's a one light car. You see one one light really bright. Um, so I'm getting stalked like, you know, on Sunday morning, it's like Sunday morning at 5.30, um, after they've mutilated me during the night, um, but, uh, please pray for Brian too, let's all send out prayers, um, for Brian too, he's, he's in the hospital, he's really hurting, I really want to get him, get him Dave's CD out, because Dave's CD really breaks up, uh, you know the stream of energy coming to us it's a counter frequency and you know I put I, I just immediately got a CD uh, and, and put it on this morning and um, you know I heard on the V2K I could kind of hear I can kind of hear the V2K when I listen to the CD um, and a guy was like he's got the CD on um, and they were trying to make it skip so like I mean they they, they really have trouble when you uh, play that CD. Um, you know, it may have been part of the dialogue, but they really try and make it skip, and, you know, I have to turn it vertically, so, you know, um, please email me. I'm sending out a, a bunch of CDs, a batch of them right now, uh, tomorrow. Uh, please email me at, you know, I might drive. There he is. There's that same guy. 
there's that same white truck. There he is, driving by me. Came and drove by me. That's three times. That's three times I saw that guy on a Sunday morning at 5:30, going the same way I am, going to the going to the bank, not using the ATM, then going, then being at the same Walgreens. Then, uh, you know, when I left the Walgreens, driving and, and, and going the same direction. Um, that that can't happen in probability. Like, you, on Sunday morning, you wouldn't, you, that would not happen with another individual uh, in, in your city like that. I mean, maybe. I mean, there, there's like, there's points where that, that does happen. There's points in life where stuff like that does happen. But this, that was an, an orchestrated, like, he, um, you know, went to the bank in front of me you know at the Walgreens I guess to show me you know hey we're, we're watching you we're surveilling you but it's ridiculous because it's it's running parallel that kind of activity is slimy in itself like it's it's very slimy anyway but the deal is it's running parallel with the directed energy weapon experimentation program I mean they're experimenting on American citizens and citizens all over the world uh, we have to do something. We have to act. You know, I'm talking to TIs that are just getting like this energy coursing through their body. They're getting vibrations uh, where they can't even take the pain. It's it's so uh, it's so hardcore. Um, bottom line, this stuff has to be stopped. So so uh, TIs, you know, we've got to uh, you know we've got to just get together and we're doing a great job. There's so much stuff going on. So much stuff. So many campaigns. I call them campaigns or activism. Um, you know, so many of those, so many uh, court cases that were that are compiling, and so many single court cases too. Um, single court cases of this get settled out of court. Um, they do settle out of court sometimes, and then the individuals, you know, um, really don't talk. They get, they they get a gag order because of all the the NSA, you know. Um, I guess you know gag order national security mess so so some people do do prove this in court and they get settlements and uh, they're, they're kind of hushed up you know they can't talk about it they get a gag order and I guess they you know are happy to, to win a settlement and they do they do kind of hush up uh, but now we're getting we're, we're having some um, now we're having some some big uh, I can't remember the words I'm having I'm having a lot of trouble with uh, my short-term memory because um, they're hitting me so hard and they hit me so hard with the remote neural manipulation so I'm having a lot of trouble with my short-term memory uh, but you know go please go to uh, bigger than Snowden uh, dot com uh, to, to sign up for a class action suit that's that's the word I was looking for in 530 in the morning I was okay no never mind I was parking usually what they'll do is like I'll park I'll park on this side and um, like I'll leave and there will be like three parking spaces open and then I'll come back and they're all filled up like they're all filled up so I have to go I have to park some I have to park in the back um, it's it's just kind of a little hassle they give me um, but anyway I just wanted to make that short video let's please put up a prayer uh, please put up a prayer for um, for Brian too. I mean, it's 5:30 in the morning, and there's like a lot of uh, vehicle activity on Sunday morning. Like a lot of uh, that, like a, a red truck, like that other person that came out. Two cars coming in with me. He's just going in there. He's going back around. Like he came out, and then he's going back around. Um, for Sunday morning, it's a lot of vehicular activity. Um, you know, I'm, I, I'm just going to say that, like, I mean, I'm not going to say those people are stalkers, um, but just Sunday morning, a lot of vehicular activity around when I'm, like, coming in and out. And that's what these people do, um, you know, they vehicular harass, which they call patrolling, and then they get around you, you know, when you're going places. Um, you know, Brian, too, explains it, um, it's kind of like a moving box, because they want to test this, they want to make sure that they're technology is working um, they want to you know keep your focus on uh, what's happening the bad stuff that's happening because then their technology the uh, you know the stream of energy the the directed energy weapons they work better uh, they work better on you when you're kind of caged in their little uh, Holocaust prison
uh, their electronic Holocaust prison. Um, this is really bad for everybody who is um, some, some kind of naysayer or cynic. Please research this. Please listen to Dr. Horton. Uh, please listen to Dr. Duncan. Please listen to all these TIs, Brian too. Um, they're telling the truth. Um, you know, these people are telling the truth. They're very smart. Um, uh, who else can you listen to? Um, Karen Stewart. Please look up Karen Stewart. Please look up Dr. Karlstrom. I think it's Dr. Eric Karl Karlstrom, but Dr. Karlstrom's the, the important part. Please look up Dr. Karlstrom. Um, please look these people up. Please look this information up. Please look the patents up uh, on directed energy weapons, remote neural monitoring, uh, and voice of skull. We need help here. Like we target individuals need help. I'm I'm like you know talking to TIs who are are in a bad way. They're in a very bad way. But I myself am getting attacked, and I'm not qualified, uh, you know, to help people who have serious medical issues because of the attacks and also uh, artificially induced. Um, you know, mental stuff, um, and I'm, and, and it's like the TIs have to, we, we have to take calls from people and email each other and, and be there for each other when we're in trouble, but we're also getting attacked at the same time. Guys, we need, like, we, doctors need to be taking care of this, uh, you know, senators and stuff like that. TIs are just helping each other, and, and, you know, while we're being attacked. Um, so we need help from some non-TIs. We need some help from, and there's a, another car. It's, you know, it's, uh, no, it's 4 in the morning. It's 4. It's actually 4.40. No. No, that's right. It's 5.40 because of the time change. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it's 5.40 in the morning. Um, on Sunday morning, a lot of vehicular activity right around the place. I might sit here till the end of the video. I got about three minutes left, guys. Um... Just, just pray for Brian too. I'm gonna say a prayer for the end of this. We need, we need help. We need to help each other. Um, we need to end this. Bottom line, we need to end this program. A lot of stuff is happening with TIs. I mean, we're getting there. We're doing this. Um, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. God, please give us miracles today and every day. Please help Brian too. Please help the the pain to reduce. Please help him to find something to defend. Um, you know, please help something to stop his targeting, to stop all of our targeting. Um, please help non-TIs to, to see uh, what's going on. Please help anybody involved in the stalking to see what's happening and to stop, stop participating in it. Um, and please, um, you know, give the court's power to uh, make some rulings on these directed energy weapons and, and get the process started of getting these weapons out of the hands of, of like... Um, you know, con private contractors, please, the, you know, whoever is doing this, um, you know, whatever the, the scheme is uh, underneath the surface here uh, to experiment on citizens, please stop them and get these weapons out of their hands, this technology out into the public or out into the light, out into awareness so it can't be used on innocent citizens. Please, God, we ask for your strength. We ask for your might. We ask for your, your glory, your grace. Uh, to get through this stuff, please, God, uh, send your angels, send your angels to help every TI. Um, I, 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 I plead in the name of, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I plead uh, for miracles from you, God. Um, you know, and thank you, thank you for all that you've given us. Um, we're grateful for any kind of defenses for Dave Case's CD, for Robert Duncan, you know, his prototype, um, and you know everybody just working really hard on this uh we we just, we thank you for those people and those you know those devices those inventions um but please you know help us please um send angels to uh to get this program in and thank you god there's a that's that same red truck the same red truck same red truck all right in the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit amen um so I, I guess they think, you know, well, I'm, I'll, I'll talk about it on another video, guys, but um, let's just pray for Brian, too. Let's pray for each other. Um, let's hold tight and hold firm and move forward and move forward. We're doing this. Um, God is on our side. We're going to see miracles this year, guys.